Hi, I'm Rory Mole. This is my three-part series of laying out a book in Affinity Publisher. This is part one of the series, so let's get started. Now we've just opened, I've just opened Affinity Publisher, and I'll be laying out a book. It's not uh, my book, it's actually the book called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, and I want to tell you something very quickly before I get started. Um, the book has been uh, set up uh, in Microsoft Word. There's a couple of little uh, text styles that were created in Microsoft, <coughs> excuse me, in Microsoft Word for the purpose of laying out the book. So the book is going to be imported through the place command into Affinity Publisher. And we're going to be using the text styles that were created in Microsoft Word. We're not going to create any more text styles inside of Affinity Publisher. We're going to import the book in and we're going to set it up and from start to finish, um, including a table of contents, which I'll do for you, and sections and everything else to do with a book, a proper book. This is not a book template, as I've done in one of my previous videos. This is to actually set up a book. Now, I want to say from, from the start, you need to make sure that your text styles within Microsoft Word have been set up very simply, and not a lot of them, just a few of them, as few as possible, and uh, so that the import process will be seamless. Okay, so let's get started, uh, and we'll start by creating our book. It's going to be A5, that's the size that I choose. Uh, the margins and so forth down here have all been set by the previous uh, book that I've done. Uh, you'll notice margins um, are 17 all round, with the exception of the inner margin, which is 23. Um, obviously, orientation is portrait. Uh, the sizes, everything else, DPI 300, facing pages, one page, and everything else can be left as is. All right, so I'm going to create. All right, there we go. We have now created our first page. Let's click on textiles. Now, these are suggested ones that Affinity Publisher just does by default. We don't want any of those. We're going to detach and delete them. There it is. Go to your textiles panel and detach and delete all the styles. Now, there's no styles. Good. Now, we're going to set up our master A page under master pages there it is on the left double click on it there we go we're going to set it up drag uh, a, um, a guide down to about there drag a guide down at the bottom again about there and let go should be the same kind of distance and if it's not it's okay just you know just work it out for yourself and drag some guides towards the margins, just on the margins. Set them on the margins. Uh, just takes just a few seconds longer. There you go. Now we get our text tool, our text frame tool. Draw out a text frame about so big. There it is. And uh, select uh, center alignment and then go to the uh, vertical center alignment as well. You want the cursor to be right dead center in the middle. All right. Um, I'm going to choose a font which will be Adobe Caslon Pro. It's one of my favorite fonts and that's what I'm going to go for. I'm wanting semi-bold. That's it. It's going to be semi-bold. And we're going to type in here Alice's. Oh, what have we done? Let me just get this back. Alice's a L I C E Alice's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Here 
Here we go. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. That's all fine. Take a select your move tool. Um, hold down. It's um, it's already selected. This text frame is selected. Hold down the Alt key and click and drag it across which, to duplicate it. Let go the Alt key and then let go right over there on the top. Triple click the words Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Change it to semi bold italic. There we go. Go to the text menu, come down to insert, and go across to field. And you want to insert a section name. There it is. Get the move tool again. Same thing, hold down Alt, the Alt key on a Mac. I don't, I'm not sure what it is on Windows, but you can work that one out. Uh, and click and drag down to the left and side at the bottom, let go the Alt key and then place your your frame there and let go the frame. That's fine. Now, once again, triple click on the word section name to select it. Go to text, go to insert, fields, page number. There it is. Get the move tool once again, hold down Alt key, Click and drag across and then let go the Alt key. There you go. Place it and you have page numbers on both sides. Nice and painless. There you go. All right. Uh, we're going to double click on our page. We're now going to select the text frame tool one more time. And we're going to drag out a text frame on the very first page. Notice we have page one over there because it's um, been in been allocated uh, from master A. So using the master A right hand side page number. But don't worry, we're going to fix that later on. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our alignment correct. Bring that one up there. We're going to align left. And we're going to align to the top of the page so that we've got our cursor back blinking right on, on the left-hand side. Okay. Now, with your uh, text frame selected, um, you're going to need to locate your manuscript. And the manuscript, as I said, has been set up very simply. And you'll see it as it comes in. So, and we're going to do a little bit of modifying on the uh, text styles. But let's just bring our document in. Let's go to File, down to Place. And I'm going to locate Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, desktop. Uh, I've called this, uh, where is it? YouTube Tutorial. There it is. And there's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland doc, dot, doc X. It's the Microsoft Word document. And we'll click Open. There it is. It's placed it in. That's all fine. Now, we are going to set up, we're going to just modify these styles a little bit. We're not going to add any styles. It's brought in all the styles that were created in the document in Microsoft Word. And we're going to just... We're going to deselect, make sure you deselect the text frame by clicking in this dark area. There we go. And we are going to modify uh, um, lyrics and poems by double clicking on it. Here it is. We bring it up. We're going to go to font. It's Adobe Castlon Pro. That's good. We click on uh let's see oh, we we click on paragraph and we're going to uh let's say center it on the page our spacing is all okay it'll be a left indent and a right indent and we don't want the first line indent so let's change that to zero, that's good, and we want a space before and a space after, six points, that's all fine, that's perfect, and we just click OK. All right, let's modify that now. Now we are going to modify chapter 
this chapter heading, which is Heading 1 Alice. It had to be named Heading 1 Alice inside of Microsoft Word because to name it Heading 1, it wouldn't allow me to do that in Microsoft Word. It said that there's one that's already been created and named and I can't name it that. So I called it Heading 1 Alice. Okay, so we double click on Heading 1 Alice. There it is to bring up this little dialog. Our font is Adobe Casson Pro. It's 20. We're going to go down to Paragraph Spacing. There we go. The alignment is center. That's all good. But we're going to come down here to Space Before. We're going to double click on the number 12. It'll only select 12. There it is. And we're going to make that 200 and 60 points. Now the space after is going to be 8 points. Here it is. Another thing we're going to do, we are going to say use space before we want to use it always. Now that means that everywhere where heading one Alice has been set up, it will use these settings, the 260 points, to shift everything from the top of the margin down to around about here. You can change this little number and make it a little less or a little more, however it might suit you. There we go. We're going down to the flow section. We're going to say we want every one of Heading 1 Alice to begin on the next odd page, there it is. Click that. We want to prevent orphans, orphan first lines, and we're gonna prevent widow last lines. And everything else is fine, and we say okay. That's good. Still, we have not selected our text frame tool. Keep it unselected. Go to heading two, double click on it. Now, I know you're not following with me, on the actual um, Word document, but your own Word document, you'll be able to do all of these different things. Now, we're going to go to our paragraph area, it's, and, and we're going to set up the space before to be zero. I'm going to just change this to zero. The space after, we're going to change to to, to 10, 10 points, and that's all we require. There you go. Okay, now we are ready to flow our text out over the rest of the book. We're not going to create pages, you don't need to. Affinity Publisher will do all of that for you. This little triangle down here is what you're going to go for. Don't worry about this little icon. It just enables you to see the rest of the text. We don't need to see that right now. Hold down the Shift key right now. Go to that little uh, triangle. Now your cursor changes. And just click on the triangle. Just like that. Just once. And notice it will take a couple of seconds. And it will flow out all your text over all the different pages uh, of your document. There you go. Scroll back up to the top and let's go and have a look and see what has actually happened. In this page we're at the end but let's go back and double click on the thumbnail and you'll notice when you see on the left you can get a nice representation of how your text is laid out. Now we're going to fix a few things and just follow me now. Um, there's page one with our chapter one. Now, obviously, there are other pages that are going to be created before this, which we will do just now. Now, we'll just scroll down. You'll notice uh, on the right-hand side, the section hasn't been set up yet, which we will need to do later on in the section manager. That will bring the right running header out on the side. We've got our page numbers. That's all good. But we don't want a page number on the on the first page. But we've got one. 
So what you do is you right click on the first page and you clear masters. There it is, it removes the page number. But everything is still set up nicely. Now we will go down, we'll keep on going. This page doesn't need, have a look here, we don't need that there or a page number. We want that one to be blank on the left because a new chapter starts on the right. To see both pages nicely, hold, um, hold down Control and press the zero key on your keyboard. There you go. It now centers it in your workspace. Right click on this little thumbnail here on the left and say Clear Master. You're going to have to do this a few times with the other ones on the way down. Let's keep on scrolling and we'll do this for this one here. Now you will need to do this on your document, Clear Masters, and I'll just go through this nice and quickly and do this. And you need to do that on your document as well, if you're using this method that I've done to lay out uh, my text from Microsoft Word. All right, there we go. We just want this to be nice, the clear masters, there it is again. It's fine. This is the minimum amount of work for a maximum uh, effect. All right, I'm just clearing some more masters here. And I think we're done. All right, we are done. Thanks for watching and subscribing. The link for part two is in the description below. If there's anything else you would like to learn about Affinity Publisher, I would be happy to hear from you. Please post your suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.